Welcome. Today I want to show you my method for um, rebodying a Barbie doll. I have here a fashionista who has already had her head removed. You can see this is the inner workings of the head, well, neck knob. This is the knob and then there's this prong with an extended plastic bit that holds the head on. And this is the part that makes rebodying a doll and removing the head tricky. But it's not impossible. In fact, it's actually really easy. So here's her head. Um, I wanted to show you the sort of anatomy of a Barbie head. She has a vinyl ridge around the edge that cups the neck knob and makes the line smooth from head to neck, just like a human. Well, sort of like a human. And then inside the head is this other ridge of vinyl that holds the head right between the neck and the knob itself. So that ridge is what we're gonna be moving around and manipulating in order to pull the head off the doll. So this is going to be my donor body. I'm gonna set it aside and the head. The um, doll whose head I'm removing is this uh, City Look Steffi face. She has a model muse body, which is a little bit different, but the removal process is still the same. Now, step one, um, a lot of people recommend warming the vinyl head to soften the vinyl. This is actually really good advice, particularly if you are working with a doll that has sort of a harder vinyl face. Steffi's face is this pretty soft, so I'm just gonna go ahead and work with what we have here rather than warming it, but particularly for like a live doll where the heads are fairly hard, you will want to warm it. Just use a blow dryer for maybe 20 seconds directly onto the neck of the doll. Avoid the hair so that you don't damage it. All right, so step one, um, assuming that I've already warmed my doll, the first thing that I do is pinch the face. And you don't want to be gentle here. Really give it a squeeze because what you want to do is allow the neck ridge to come up and expose the neck a little bit so that you know where to put your screwdriver. Now this screwdriver is my favorite head removal tool uh, because it has a nice small flat tip so it's perfect for getting in and around that um, little space. And you can get these anywhere. I think that we got this one at Home Depot or maybe Walmart, but they're all around. Um, just look for a very small set of screwdrivers. They often will come in a set of six. Um, so I insert the screwdriver underneath that lower neck ridge and try to work my um, work my way up under that knob, or over the knob actually, and work around the head to pull that inner ridge up onto the top of the head knob. And you just wanna work in a circular fashion, back and forth, pulling the vinyl part of the head over the hard plastic of the head knob. And hopefully you can see that it's coming up, and at once you get it all the way around, you'll have the head, um, with the, the ridge above the knob, oh, and it just popped right out, and it sort of dangles on there. Now the next step is to shove the screwdriver all the way in and work around the prong. Now this, this one is really well behaved. You can see that prong popped right out. Sometimes it'll take a little bit more work than that. Once you've got one side of the prong out, it's often easy to just pull the head out if you've got one of these shorter pronged, shorter pronged dolls like this one. Now with the doll that has a longer prong, you'll probably have to work the other side of the prong out with the screwdriver. But these shorter model muse prongs are really easy to remove. Um, so the, the final step step in um, head removal is this is a personal preference I hate these stupid prongs they just make our lives hard so I actually cut those off with a sharp pair of scissors just really easy slide it don't cut off the knob just the prong part I put the scissors and squeeze sometimes it takes a little bit of force to snap it off or maybe going from two different directions now these scissors are really sharp so yeah just popped a prong off man this model muse does not want to come off there you go. So just cut that prong off again. Do not mess with that knob. You need that to hold your head on. But once the prong's off, it makes putting the head back on the doll super easy. You can just pop it on and off without a fight. So this I'm gonna put it set aside for another doll. Now, um, Steffi is getting this uh, fashionista body, so I'm gonna cut this prong off just the way that I did the uh, model muse prong. And again, you just wanna really, <laughs> it t may take some force with the scissors, Whoa! and your prong may go flying. Find I'll find that later. Um, so the Steffi head is gonna go back, go on to the fashionista body, and it's super easy to put a head on. You just sort of rotate it into place. I like to shove it down so she kinda has this like stumpy neck appearance, and then tug it up a little bit until it's right where it needs to be. And then you can see she still has free, you can see she still has free movement, and you can position her head any way you want but she has a nice articulated body now. Thank you.